What is the worst thing your teacher has ever done? Communications class. Students had to give short speeches about an unforgettable event in their life. A student with Down syndrome got up in front of the class and talked about getting his first job at the Vista School, a local academy for kids with autism and other mental disorders. When he's finished, the next speaker gets up and starts to prepare for her speech by writing her name on the board. She's writing sloppily and from the back of the room my professor shouts with handwriting like that you must have gone to the Vista School. Full stop. Everyone in the class cringes. No one laughs. The Down Syndrome kid has his jaw on the floor and tells my prof that his joke wasn't very funny. He dropped the class the next day. Holy shit. I think I had this guy. Was it Professor Sanders? Sounds like something that decrepit old shit would say. We were in grade 4 and had a reading day where we would read to the grade 1 or preschool children. It was around Christmas and had to read Christmas stories to them. Right before we were ready to head down to meet up with them she said. Okay. Just remember not to let the kids know that Santa isn't real. Full stop. She single handedly put almost a whole class of children into tears and ruined the magic of Christmas. That's kind of hilarious. When I was in 5th grade, 1999, my dad passed away from a failed heart surgery. My teacher then told me it's your fault he passed away. You wore him out. He had to chase after you all the time because you don't know how to behave. I threw my chair at her. I got suspended and my mom beat the hell out of me. But it was worth it. MRS. Burke was a CNT. Edit. I was living in Swartz Creek me at the time. I don't think anything ever happened to her. She tried to get me to participate in dissecting a lamb heart and when I refused, because why the hell do I want to dissect a heart after my dad's heart failed, she made the comment. My mom hated me growing up so it was my fault for getting suspended. Thanks to whoever gave me gold. And for your kind yet slightly violent words lol. This post made me remember. Back in 5th grade my teacher was sitting on the desk next to mine cause the kid that sat there was absent. He ripped the loudest fart in my life and the class just paused. He looks me right in the eye and backs up. I look at my classmates and mouth domf gemar. Just farted saru loud. They look at me and said you farted so loud. The teacher blamed me for his loud public fart. Teacher deserves an award. Tough claim to pull off. My obese short French teacher taught an entire 1 hour class without realizing her top 3 buttons were undone. Had a class teacher in 9th grade who was the most formal person I had ever seen or have seen. She replied to everyone in the most courteous. Most dictionary like English you can think of. She was more sterile than Lilith from Frasier. Anyway. 3 years later. Turns out she was using her office as a rentable location for high-end escort teacher themed sessions. I have sat in the chair in her office multiple times. 5th grade science teacher called me out into the hall and gave me a spanking with her paddle because I was looking around for someone to talk to. Dot. I'd rolled my neck left and right quickly to pop it. My old pay teacher was a pedophile who stole 47 items of girls clothing and kept them at his house. He also sent kids Christmas cards and shti. I once had an English teacher who didn't deal too well with foreign names. The more memorable moments of her frustration were when she called on one of the Asian students with you. Yes you. The dark boy. And the other time when calling the register and she couldn't pronounce one of the names. Oh for goodness sake. Why can't we just give them all numbers? Comma oh for goodness sake. Why can't we just give them all numbers? Let's start with the Jewish kids. My math teacher banged the girl I had a crush on and bragged about it. In class. She was 17 and this was the 70s. I read that as. Comma she was 17 and he was in his 70s. I was ridiculed for asking what eyes were in French in the second grade. For whatever reason. I couldn't remember and I was very bilingual at that age. She laughed at me and then asked the whole class to laugh at me. I was a quiet kid in class and this wrecked me. I was put into English immersion the following year. 
and was essentially forced into the class with the stupid people. I live in Quebec. Everyone laugh negative escal. Ahahaha. <laughs> Wrong. Hon 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 hon. That's better. Seriously though. Dude. No one should have laughed at you for a brain fart. That must have been really traumatic for yukes. One of my teachers in high school was a bit of a nut. He always did some crazy shti. But I remember one day he found a student had two cigarettes lodged behind each of his ears. He walked up to the student and nonchalantly took both of the cigarettes. Sat down. Broke them both in half. And put them in his coffee. For the next five minutes. He stared the kid down while drinking the entire cancer infused cup of coffee. It was pretty intimidating to say the least. Edit. Not to mention during this entire 5 minutes. The class was silent. And everyone watched him drink. I nearly gagged. Our science teacher asked for a volunteer from the class so she could demonstrate her favorite s positions. Dry humping style. And no she wasn't hot. Another teacher called his point of the Excalibur and he accidentally hit a student with it once when he was fking around. But my favorite of all time was the 3D animations teacher that didn't teach us anything. He gave us an assignment that would take the entire semester and whatever you asked him. My pointer do you mean penis or stick? One of my coaches on a team is also a guidance counselor. Some kid on the team went to ask him about a college he was thinking about going to. His response was oh don't go to that school. The girls are all fat as fck with big hairy pussies. There was another time when he told us to go out to the parking lot because some kid was getting some winky work. Once I was at practice with my favorite teacher. He said. You won't guess what's under the bleachers. That's the last time I trusted him with his little smirk. Because that's how I found out about the winky work. When I was in kindergarten they wouldn't let me poop at recess. Which was my normal pooping time. I ended up pooping my pants multiple times and sticking my ass in a tire afterwards. E. This happened 3-4 times. My mother contacted the school the first few times and went berserk the final time. Threw out a homework sheet, took it out of the stack of others. Crumpled it up. And tossed it in the bin. Marked me a zero and denied my NHS application saying that I didn't complete all my assignments. Turned her in for it. Got another teacher to come and see the paper in the bin. Nothing. Taught me a valuable lesson. Authority figures are people too. Sometimes. They are shtty people. I had a teacher tell a black joke. He was laughing until he saw the only black kid in the room. He apologized and never told a black joke again. Edit. Some of you wanted the joke so here it is. This really white kid said he went to a public school that was primarily black. And then the teacher said that's good. You must have been at the top of your class. Edit too. Thanks for the gold stranger. Teacher woke up a student by slapping the kid in the back of the head. Boys had hit his desk. Broke his nose. Blood everywhere. Edit. My letterbox has been read all day. Thank you. My 9th grade English teacher would take a picture of the person sleeping with a Polaroid camera. The flash usually woke them up and she had a wall of shame where she would put them on. I fell asleep once and my teacher had everyone leave class and he changed the clock to make it look like school was over and I'd miss the bus. Joke was on him. I lived a few houses down from the school and walked. Well. My teacher went commando under her blouse skirt once. Oh. My kindy teacher did that. We were playing sleeping lions and she stepped over me. Must have forgot she was commando and wearing a skirt. Good times. Fun Nancy yelled at me in front of the sneering class because I drew a duck billed platypus for my assignment. And we were meant to pick a real animal. Not fun answer our pervy pay teacher used to inspect our underwear. We had to show him we bought a spare pair. Just the girls. No one questioned this, and grope our boobs while pretending to show us the correct stance while playing tennis. I had a Vietnam veteran teacher whose PTSD went off. He thought he was back in Vietnam so he threw an apple at an Asian kid. An apple a day keeps the Viet Cong away. 
We had a presentation day and someone brought in a bag of flour to show what 5 pounds of cocaine looks like. The kid left it in the room after class and the teacher turned it into the administrators and said that this kid brought all this cocaine in as a joke. We have a theology teacher at our school who told a Jewish kid he was gonna go to hell unless he converted. She got hit by a car walking out of church. I think it was karma. Edit. Another story about her. She can no longer teach a class at my school called death and dying because when she teaches she tells the students that he wants to die while having sex with her husband on an altar. She's been let go once but she was rehired because they didn't have enough teachers. Edit 2. Comma hit by a car. Hope it was a convertible. My Spanish teacher was clearly the coolest dude in school. And in his 30s. Not an easy combo for anyone. His superiority was not debated. It simply was. We'll call him Maeve for short since. That's what we called him. Maeve was open to the fact that at his age. The dating scene. Especially in Arkansas. Was particularly tough. Then. The Monday before graduation. I walk in and everyone seems to be flipping shti. Spatulas and all. I then learned all Maeve had run off to Chile with one of my classmates. Who had just turned 18. He quit. Married her. And left the country within the space of 4 days. The best part was it was a small Baptist school in Arkansas. And her parents were cool with it. They had known beforehand what was going to happen. It was the worst thing for the school and other parents. But the students understood. Last I heard they're raising alpacas and heard of handsome little cradle robbers. Edit. A whole country was only 6. Puked in class and teacher looks at me. SS and then continues to teach the class as if nothing happened. While I sit there with my desk and me covered in puke. I got 2. My middle school math teacher was fking cool as hell. One day this girl wouldn't shut up so she threw a math workbook at her but it veered to the left and boom headshot on my face. Was funny as hell. She got fired because parents found out she was a stripper. Teachers don't make much. We didn't care she made math fun and we were learning. The other was my high school math teacher stopped a bully that was kicking my ass by picking high up and throwing him across the room. No issues in that class again. I wonder how the parents found out she was a stripper. They couldn't be going to strip clubs could they? I once had to get an 86 on a final test in college to pass the term I bombed the first test I got an 84 because the scantron marked one question wrong. Even though it was right. I took it to the instructor. And he would not accept it. So I had to repeat the entire class and pay for it out of pocket because my financial aid does not cover retakes. You should have taken it to the dean of the college. My friend got f over by our electronics prof and the dean of engineering changed his grade from a D to a B. It has to be something concrete like what happened to you. But if you get f over the dean can correct it. I was a troubled kid going through school. My home life was t. Parents never educated me. No social skills. No friends. Constantly picked on by my peers and family. One teacher called me the girl that never smiled. Another teacher stopped class story time because I was breathing too heavily out my nose. I was embarrassed. I thought I was normal. She told me in front of the whole class that everyone was complaining about it. I've been mindful since of how loud my air intake is. One teacher convinced my mother to send me to live with my aunt. It was disheartening because it was a surprise. No warning. It was pack your shti. You're moving. I even had a friend over that day and I remember how sad it was to tell her she has to go home because I'm moving out of town that instant. Bleh. School. My French teacher threw a pocket dictionary at a kid's head. My teacher did the same thing. She said if I didn't memorize the vocabulary words. They'll get in my head somehow. I wasn't in their class but the students studying Indonesian would give their teachers so much hell that they'd continuously be replaced. One of them had had just a bit too much of them and ended up throwing a chair at a student. They really had it coming though. Some of my classmates were real dicks. Trap girls in his office and make Sul advances on them. 
Also he took pictures of girls during the swim unit. Yet he still works here. My creepy civic teacher who wasn't even teaching sx ed asked the class if anyone has ever been a sx slave. What the heck? Caning of students is allowed in my country. But teachers normally only cane the palms. Once. My English teacher caned me across the shoulders left to right to left etc. It was the worst pain I've ever experienced. I was 9 and it was because I didn't hand in my homework or some crap. I wasn't making noise or disturbing the class. And my English was the best in class. Screw my country's education system. Did it. Caned not canned. Certainly felt that way though. My university thesis advisor did not come into my thesis defense. Although we agreed that he will. By the way my advisor gave a 5. Max in Hungary. Great after reading it. But it does not matter anywhere. Only the final exam grade. Result. No one from the exam board read my 100 plus pages long thesis. My advisor was not there to tell his opinion. And although I started to tell them about the really detailed research, I spent about 700 1000 plus hours with it. They did not want to spend too much time listening. They gave me a 3. So they do not need to bother understanding the research at all. FCK all of them. P.S. This was my first university degree. Soon I will complete the second. So I do not give a shit anymore. But still it was really mean. Oh circumflex why with diaresis. Edit. Spelling. Clarification. Formatting. One time on the first day of school a teacher flipped out on a student who started texting in class. He took his phone and smashed it into pieces with a hammer. Everyone was utterly terrified. A week later we found out that the teacher gave the phone to the student before class and wanted to play a prank on us. Most memorable experience in my high school career. One of my football coaches put video cameras in the boys locker room shower last year. AP Chem my senior year in well known Nick High School. I was not the best in the class but also not the worst. To give a background on my learning style. I need a concept explained to me from start to finish. Every step such as adding small numbers. Comma my teacher wasn't having any of it. In front of the class she starts talking and goes. Dot. Some people are not made out to do science. They just can't do it. And I guess that's fine. These people won't have good careers or be too bright. Ash Cal's you should probably go into a profession that doesn't involve numbers or science. You can talk to people or do something fashion related since you're a female. She just kept going. In front of the whole class. I never felt so crappy in my life. Now out of college and have 3 degrees. One in molecular bio. Suck IT Mrs R. Comma you can talk to people or do something fashion related since you're a female. OS Zist woman teaching science? Actually what? Told a fellow classmate to end his life. One of my professors in college tried to teach love song of J. Alfred Prufrock as a literal love poem and did a stanza by stanza analysis of her thoughts. She also wouldn't acknowledge Eliot's obsession with cats and made us write papers on Shakespeare analyzing him in the context of her made up and total bullshit semiotic theory of iconic realism. It was like the opposite of what's supposed to happen in a classroom. And she somehow has her PhD. My teacher once said well there is the good kind of gay that means happy. When my biology teacher overheard someone talking about my partner he asked if they had a white stick and a guide dog. Teacher said get your cotton picking hands off my desk to the only black kid in our grade. In high school. My maths teacher was a dick. He'd have races between me and a friend to see who would go red with embarrassment the quickest. Another time. He started singing the Kaiser Chiefs song I predict a riot. At which point he'd point at me and change it to I predict a diet. I wasn't the thinnest of people in high school. And this guy just made me feel worse. Everyone else loved him. Told me I was too dumb to go to college and that my family couldn't afford it. That maybe I should just do what I'm good at and get a job in fast food or try and work my way up in a job that interests me. 
then he refused to give me access to the other colleges I was interested in that had lower requirements and encouraged me to give up on my dream of going to college. Oh I have a good story. At my university. They decided to require all students take a course known as what is the good life. Full stop. No one wanted to take it and it seemed like, and was, a huge waste of money. Since there were 5. 000 freshmen who all had to take this class in the first year. A bunch of different professors taught the course. The point of the class was that there was no answer to the question what is the good life? Because everyone has a different idea of what would make their life good. My professor was weird. Like super weird and sort of snooty and obnoxious. Upon googling his name. My class of 300 students quickly figured out what his definition of a good life was. Our professor has recently been arrested. For possession of cocaine. Which he attempted to trade to a male prostitute for s all favors. When approached by the police. He threw the bag into the bushes then claimed it wasn't his. He wasn't fired. He has tenure. Yet he was still allowed to teach college kids about how to have a good life.